Well, there's a new heart valve replacement procedure being done at Barnes Jewish Hospital. It's described as open heart surgery without the open. Dr. Ellen Zaharias is an interventional cardiologist with Barnes Jewish and a Washington University assistant professor of medicine. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So explain this procedure to us. So up until now, the only way to replace the aortic valve has required open heart surgery, which involves opening the chest up, stopping the heart, and then replacing the valve. Currently, we're involved in a research trial that allows us to replace the aortic valve by making a small incision in the leg, pushing a catheter all the way from the leg to the aorta, and then replace the valve, which is mounted on a stent. So who's an ideal candidate for this? We are currently enrolling patients who are high risk for surgery, which means that they have an estimated operative mortality of greater than 10%, or who have a frank contraindication to surgery. Now, I know you're giving a talk on Thursday night. Is this to recruit people to get into the clinical study? Uh, the purpose of the talk is twofold. The first one is actually to make people aware of uh, what heart valve disease is like. People, it's estimated that around 15% of the population over the age of 70 has a heart valve problem and they don't really know about it. So that's one part. And the second part is actually to make people aware that up until now, these patients were not with aortic stenosis were actually not candidates for any treatment. And now there's a possibility that they, we could actually offer them something to make them live longer and feel better. So if they don't know they have it, does that mean there are no symptoms? So up until the moment that they begin to have symptoms, um, aortic stenosis is completely silent and does not really affect the quality or the duration of life. It's up until people begin to have chest discomfort or passing out or evidence of fluid overload that then they should seek medical attention because these uh, symptoms mark that they're at high risk of having, of dying, basically. And who, what causes it? Uh, it's part of the regular wear and tear of the valves. As people begin to grow older, these valves that open and close every time that the heart beats begin, become um, calcified. And sometimes this calcification impedes them to actually open up completely or it doesn't let them close appropriately. Now, is there anything you can do when you're younger to prevent that from happening? Interestingly enough, the same risk factors that affect the progression of atherosclerosis or coronary artery blockages uh, also affect the progression of blockages in the, in the aortic valve. So people should make sure that they eat right, they do don't smoke, they exercise regularly, and prevent all of the possibilities of having heart, heart uh, disease. And does it happen more in men than women? Or? It does not. It's, equal, it's equally uh, divided. Okay, well, Dr. Zaharias is going to talk more about this new heart valve replacement procedure on Thursday at 6 p.m. at the St. Louis Public Library. It is the Schlafly branch located at 225 North Euclid. Now, it's free, but registration is required, so just call 866-867-3627. Dr. Zaharias, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much. Art